Local, live, late breaking. This is KMAX Fact or Fib Tuesday, brought to you by Auto's Granary. And welcome back. Time now for Fact or Fib Tuesday. All right, time now to guess Fact or okay. Fib, Maggie. Many countries have a significant number of deaths occurring from a single, just one dietary factor. Factor Fib. Ooh, Fib? I don't know. I feel like it would have to be a lot, a lot of, of things, things, you know? Contributing to, to that? Let's yeah. see what it is. It's actually a fact, and you're going to be surprised what that factor is here. Research finds sugary drinks may cause 184,000 deaths each year. Researchers from Tufts University studied surveys from more than 600,000 people. They estimate consuming sugar-sweetened beverages led to 133,000 deaths from diabetes. 45,000 from cardiovascular disease and 6,400 deaths from cancer. Now, Mexico had the highest death rate due to sugary beverages with a rate of 450 deaths per million adults. The U.S. was next with 125 estimated deaths per million adults. So we're not far behind from Mexico there. Wow. So that's the factor, a significant number of deaths just from one dietary factor. And, it's and that is drinking sugar drinks, you know, like juice and soda and all of that yeah, stuff. Yeah, makes you think twice before you get a Coke instead of water, huh? Yeah, yeah. I think they call it, um, I've heard before, like the white death, like white sugar, like table oh, sugar, mm -hmm. people don't think of it, but you know, you consume so much, it's in everything. Yeah, and that's what it, I remember learning like it's in ketchup. You wouldn't yeah. even think of it being in things like that. Ketchup, so yeah, yeah. interesting, like something to think about. Mm -hmm. All right, fact or fib, most of the children and teens physically assaulted every year are abused by their parents. I would say most teens, most kids, yeah, probably that's a fact. You think it's a fact? By their parents, yeah. Yeah, that would make sense. It's actually a fib. Most of the assaults were at the hands of siblings and peers. More than a third of people 17 and younger were physically assaulted in the past year. That's according to a new study from the University of New Hampshire. One in 20 kids have been physically abused by a parent or another caregiver in the same time period. Overall, boys were assaulted by adults about twice as often as girls were. Boys were more likely to be assaulted by peers as well. So peers and siblings, uh, you know, I guess the culprits of this abuse yeah. more often than parents. Although parents are still in there, and obviously uh -huh. a lot of kids, unfortunately, suffer abuse at the hands of their parents. But really interesting that peers and uh, siblings. siblings. Yeah, make sure you know you watch your kids yeah. <laughs> that they get along really when you well. Go in school, I mean, we talk about it often. Bullying, it's not mm -hmm. just uh, you know verbal; it can be physical as well. So you got to watch out for that. Yeah. All right, our final fact or fib here: swimming too much might be the reason some kids get more ear infections than others. This is a tricky one. Okay, I'm going to say this you has to swimmer, be. Right? I got to say, I have to say this is a fact because that's I used to get ear infections all the time growing up because I was a year-round swimmer for 10 years so, so this might be I true let's see what it is here it's actually fit, but it's a catch here okay. now we know that swimming does attribute to it does contribute to ear infections there but there's a reason why some children get more ear infections than others it could be a rare gene variant that's to blame researchers believe the protein in the gene involved may play a role in the immune system that protects the ear now that variant could somehow derail the protection the protein should provide an antibiotic drop is being used to treat this issue in Europe. So it might not be that your kid's swimming all the time and the doctor says, oh, they need to get out of the pool. Mm -hmm. It might be because they have this gene variant that's working against that's them, so, essentially, right? Yeah, that's very interesting. So yeah. maybe that's my issue. Maybe so I it could be that. the swimming pool. We don't. It's yeah. kind of a fact and fib there. It's a tricky one, but it could be the swimming pool, but it might always not always be the pool. There might be something internally that's happening in yeah. their body, right? Well, hopefully they figure out an antibiotic so yeah. we can fix that. <laughs> if you have that gene variant, test yeah. for it, yeah. Well, it's a story ripped right from the movie The Notebook. But this couple, married for 75 years, died together on their wedding anniversary. Don't miss their love story right after the break.